so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask for this side so today we will be solving yet another problem of gfgp otd that is print n bit binary numbers having more ones than zeros so let's see what does the question say the question says that you have been provided with n n can range from 1 to 15 that is the range of n yeah, and n is type of integer right and you have to provide me with all the n bit binary numbers in form of strings in form of strings such that such that in that string in that string that is the string constructed from zeros and ones and the length of the string is n in that string number of ones is greater than equals to number of zeros okay so for example you have got n as 2 in that case your strings that are possible are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so now if you check them correctly you will say 0 0 no num no one no number of 1 is 0 number of 0 is z 2 so that is not possible you will say number of 1 is 1 but number of one uh, zero is also one so it is a possible because that's equal equal to is also an option one zero so number of one is one number of zero is one possible one one number of one is greater than number of zero possible okay but the question uh, raises its complexity by saying that suppose your answer is one one right your answer is one one so all the prefixes of one one what are the prefixes of one one only one 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 right the prefixes are only one and one one in this also the condition should be valid that is in this also the number of one should be greater than number of zero so if you check it you see that one is again greater than zero correct one is here also greater than zero talking about this one one zero prefixes are one and one zero right okay so is this correct yes this is correct one zero again correct okay Talking about 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, prefixes are 0 and 0, 1, right? Is 0 correct? No. Is 0, 1 correct? Yes. But this is not correct, right? So this cannot be a potential case. These, are, these two are the potential cases. Now, you have to provide me this answer in decreasing sorted order, in decreasing sorted order. So you can see 11 is actually greater than 10. So 1 1 is actually greater than 10 so in decreasing order it will come first and your answer will be 1 1 and 1 0 right hope i am you are clear with the problem and we can proceed with the solution right okay so it says that i have to return a vector of strings that is all the strings possible all the n bit strings possible okay so whenever i encounter such type of problem that we have to uh return all the strings possible all the strings possible being a practitioner i should be able to understand that i will have to use recursion and there is no scope of dp here there is no scope of dp here we will have to explore all the cases right because we have to reach the strings we have to return the strings if it was mentioned that we have to uh, we have to return the number of strings that are possible, then the story might be ha might have been different, right? But we here we have to return the number of strings, so there is no scope of DP. We have to return the uh, we have to do the hard recursion, that is, uh, consider all the cases and uh, push back the, all the valid cases, right? Okay, so what will be my algorithm? So my conditions that I have to meet are n bit right string length of string is one uh, n number of one greater than number of zero sorry greater than equals right these are the two conditions that i have to take care of right all the strings contain either one or either zero right okay so what will i do i'll say that i will call a function that will take my answer my answer is a type of vector string right and this will be passed by reference right 
let me mention it here passed by reference right okay other other parameter will be my current string which i'm handling right okay now the two parameters that i, I will be needing is number of ones so i will make it as ones only number of ones it is an integer type and number of zeros it is also an integer type right now what will happen i'll say that if cur dot size is greater than i also said my n right is greater than equals to n in that case there can be two cases that is if ones is actually greater than zeros right if ones is actually greater than zeros in that case uh, in that case answer dot pushback that string right get out of the if condition and then return right okay so if my size is greater than equals to n and my condition still persists i will return right otherwise i have two options otherwise i have two options to call for zero to call for one right to add the uh, zero to the current string and then call the function and similarly add one to the current string and then call the function right okay now but it says that i have to return the answer in decreasing order right in decreasing order so can i make some decisions that will give me the answer in decreasing order and i don't have to sort it i am saying is it possible to get the decreasing order get the decreasing order without sorting so answer is yes how now you know that the string can either contain a 1 or a 0 right okay the string with the maximum value that is in the that will be in the topmost uh, left -rest, leftmost corners will have all the ones right right okay then one less zero then one less zero then one less zero right that will be the case right we will have zero one 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 by one one by one one by one right okay so my answer says that if i call the function if i call this function for one first then it will be giving me a decreasing order on the go only that is if i call my same function but add current string one right and then ones would increase by one zeros would remain same right and similarly f of answer with current plus zero and ones will remain same zeros will remain zero will remain plus one right and then return to mark the ending of your function right this should give me my answer this should give me my answer okay but one condition has not been taken care of i will draw the recursion tree for you and i will tell you uh, at the spot only that what is not being handled right okay so let me change the thing right so suppose we are calling for n equals to 2 because we saw the example for n equals to 2 right okay for n equals to 2 so for n equals to 2 my answer will be called right my function will be called suppose this is my answer that will contain all my strings right okay so i have called it for current string is empty string right i called it for zero ones and zero zeros right okay it says if n is greater than two if current size is greater than equals to n no current size is zero and n is, uh, is equals to two right not possible then do the following oh, do the following recurrent calls so f of answer cur plus one so it will be f of cur plus one that will become one and one plus one that is one and zero right first call is this second call is zero with zero one right okay now i will do the recursion tree from here right so my first call is from empty string zero zero which gives me two calls my first call is for one with zero zero and zero with zero one this will be one here sorry right again my cur dot size is not equals to two right so i will move further away so i have two options again that is one one with 
two zero and one zero with one one, right? Okay. Now in this case, current size is actually equal to two. That is, we have got the two bit binary string that we wanted, right? Now two is greater than zero, so my answer will get one one. So my answer will get one one, right? So this has been returned. So you can see this has been returned first. So this will be on the first index, right? Then this recursion call again. Current string size is equals to equals to two, and one is greater than equals to one. That is also following that right? number of one is equals to equals to number of zero. It will also return, but before returning, it will add itself, right? One zero. So we have got our answer. But today, this recursion is still remaining, right? This recursion call is finished. This is returned and coming to here, right? Zero zero. Again, two cases. What are the cases? Adding one, so zero one, with one one, right, and zero one. It will be zero zero with zero two, right. This is not good because zero is actually less than two, right. It will run, but it will not add any uh, add itself to the answer. But this one is equal to equal to one. This will add. This will add to the answer, right. We have got zero one as our answer also. But isn't it wrong? Isn't it wrong? Why is it wrong? Because we discussed that all the prefixes also should have been following that property. All the prefixes also should have been following this property. So how can we avoid that in this case? So how can we avoid that in this case? So for this case, you can see that I have to stop my recursion here only. Why here? Because this has failed here. So no matter it wins in the in this level or not, in the subsequent levels or not, this has failed here. So the subsequent levels cannot be part of my answer. So I will have to stop my recursion here only. How can I check we have to stop my recursion? I can see that the number of one is actually less than one. So my another condition that I was saying that I have to add is I will add my condition here that if once is actually less than zeros. Simply return. You cannot do anything further, right? Simply return. This is my only condition that I have to do, right? Now I hope you are familiar with the algorithm. I hope you understood the algorithm. Now talking about the time complexity, right? Talking about the time complexity. So the time complexity of this code is you can see that I am taking two calls. So my recursion from recurrence duration is t of n is equals to t of uh, n minus one plus t of n minus one. You would say why n minus one? Where is n minus one coming from? I would say that I am decreasing my length, uh, increasing my length one by one, right? So my number of operations are actually decreasing by one. So t of n minus one, t of n minus one, and I know that you are brilliant students, so this will be t of n equals to o of two n. Time complexity of n is o of big of two n. And what is the space complexity? Space complexity is o of n. You would say, but you are not keeping anything. I am saying, uh, first of all, I am keeping an answer. But that is not O of n, but the recursion stack space, right? Recursion stack space. That is O of n. Recursion stack space. That is taking O of n space, right? Okay. So I hope you are familiar with the algorithm. I hope you liked my explanation. If so, support me with your type. And if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. Now let's move to the coding area, right? Let's move to the coding area because I know that's your uh, that's what you are all waiting for, right? Okay. So now vector of string name it as answer string of curve make it as an empty string right and just call a solve function or f, fun f function any function you want to name it send your s answer send your curve number of ones is zero number of zeros is zero right and then return your answer this is the whole uh, what do we say binary this is the whole driver function you have to write now so void solve i will take my vector of string answer as my reference i said it by explicitly that you have to take it by reference right now string cut int ones and zeros right my first condition was that if once is less than zeros return else if my curve dot size is equal to equal to n, so I have to send my n also here, right? In that case, answer dot push back uh, curve 
and then return you would say why didn't you check inside in the pseudo code you were checking i'll say because i have added this condition so my that condition that was i was checking in the pseudo code always remains true when it reaches here right okay now very easy task solve for cur plus one with ones plus one zeros and same n right and similarly solve for cur plus zero ones zeros plus one and same n right okay so this should work and i will just add a return because that is a good practice right while doing the code or the void function and see if it works right so it is working fine for the expected compilation and let us run it for submit i hope you are liking my video and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe you can see the pointer going up and it is showing 101 days streak thank you for watching my video hope you liked it and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe thank you have a nice day